Hi Trader, welcome to the weekly overview of the Forex market. This is a video from Admiral Markets. My name is Chris and today's focus specifically on the US dollar. It might be in an interesting spot for this week. So we're going to take a look at the majors in just a second. First of all, though, be aware that this video is shown to global audience but may not be necessarily uh, suitable for everyone. Please visit AdmiralMarketsGlobal.com, select your country or residence and contact an appropriate entity to find out if it is suitable for you. Also, please note that trading for exchange and in global financial markets is considered high risk. Please seek the advice of an independent financial advisor for more information on that. This webinar or this video is for informational and educational purposes only. By continuing watching this video, you agree with this disclaimer and you are aware of the risk involved when trading. All right, dollar yen here at this moment making a correction to the downside. And you can see that the channel is at this moment quite corrective and the price price is corrective in fact the channel has a mild angle depending on of course exactly on the, on the uh, angle that or the, the zoom that you use in fact now considering the choppy price action i don't think that this dollar yen is really going to move quickly all too uh, soon uh, we could have a break of the weekly pivot point and challenge basically the r1 and the previous tops again that could indicate basically or, or build i should say a head and shoulders pattern with the left shoulder here head here and the right shoulder at the r1 something like this let me make a drawing so you can see that's the breakout and then here on the left the head and the right so that could be a head and shoulders r1 could be a turning spot for a move back down at this moment i'm expecting a bigger correction on the dollar yen if you look at the the daily chart you know there's plenty of resistance up in here where price is right now strong resistance zone around 115 round level and therefore i think that price might make a dip back to the moving averages the s2 the s3 ish also if we put a fib from here to here all right like this i think that there could be uh, basic retracements to the 38 50 61 .8 fib before maybe their larger breakout to the upside could occur so from that point of view all right you can see that you, that's why i'm bearish at this moment and i would not be bullish unless really price breaks above 115 with a clear daily or clear weekly candlestick closing above it and breaking through it closing near that high as well indicating a strong breakout otherwise personally against the yen the dollar looks a bit weak i think and uh, although basically are in in balance at this moment going sideways the overall structure i think could indicate that eventually price might make the downside the other op other uh, opportunity or uh, option that could happen is that price breaks through this support trend line like this and there could be a breakout to the S1 and the 23.6 fib, which could be a bouncing spot, maybe within this channel. And then later on, maybe price can make it to the 38.2 fib, which again could be a bouncing spot. So I think this downside could be relatively choppy, maybe not that interesting to trade. But eventually, I do think that slowly but surely it's going to get lower and lower. If it does make an up upside, I think that it is running into resistance, unless it really clears, break, you know, clearly breaks through that resistance zone. We'll take a look at the dollar index, your dollar, pound dollar in just a second. But first of all, be aware of the webinars coming up as well on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And also uh, small webinars, 50 minute with real time trading ideas each day. And of course, we'll take a look at the majors, minors, other instruments as well. Forex, CFD, commodities uh, in these webinars. So take a look and sign up for any of these that you think are interesting. And then it, of course, with his uh, recap sessions, taking a look at the or not recap in the sense, but forecast the setups basically that he's going to be trading i'm taking a look at patterns on tuesday and wednesday and thursday is an educational webinar taking a look at fiscal and monetary policy now with regard to that dollar index you can see that it does look like the dollar has completed a correction this could be a wave a this could be a wave b and this could be a wave c overall the trend is up just connect the dots and you can see a support trend line very clearly uh, like this and of course price is above the long term moving average Price is higher on the right than the left of this chart, so pretty simple to see that. Now, the ABC could be finished, and if price does break above this weekly pivot point, then that could indicate the start or restart of this uptrend, and uh, there could be one more higher high. Of course, if we do get a higher high, I do think that there could be some divergence between these tops. That could also be the end of that uptrend, and price then might make a new weakness move down. All right, so that's something to be seen. Of course, also if price breaks, Below this support trend line, uh, then there could be a breakout to the downside with dollar weakness. All right, so we have to see. For the moment, uh, it looks like dollar index is bouncing. We'll have to see if it 
is able to break above this weekly pivot point. Uh, let's take a look at your dollar. Your dollar, uh, so if we expect dollar strength, we would expect your dollar to fall one more time. And if then the dollar index has divergence, we would expect your dollar to go up one more time. And that's exactly what I'm expecting with the your dollar. Once again, just think, you know, you just probably already heard this from me, but basically price strong momentum to the upside like this five wave up looking like a three wave down and the three wave down the first wave stopped at the 23.6 fib the third is expected to stop at the 38.2 fib so from that point of view 115 is the main target which is the 38.2 fib and this basically could just be a correction within that downtrend towards the 38 fib at 115. so let me just move this mini terminal it's part of the mt4 supreme edition a little bit lower and you can see why we're in a downtrend and that price is at resistance right now i expect a turn either here or max 117.50 so max the r1 r2 is where i expect a turn or even if it breaks below the weekly pivot point there could be an immediate breakout like this to the s1 then perhaps later this week to the s2 and perhaps even to the s3 but s2 is already 115 so this is the breakout territory right here two zones and the R1 is the main res, you know, turn spot for, for more downside. And it could even go up to the R2, although, although that is quite deep. So R1 turn spots, these are breakout spots. And then, of course, there's a potential bounce spot at the S2 again because of that FIB as mentioned. All right, so uh, let's take a look. You know, a bearish candle breaking below the weekly pivot point would be good for our two, in fact, hourly chart. Still slightly in an uptrend at this moment, higher highs, higher lows. So we would need to see kind of a, a break, pull back, and continue on the hourly chart so that we know that this kind of uptrend is, is over for the moment on the uh, lower time frames like this. So this could still be a bouncing spot. You know, not necessarily have to get a breakout here. It could be a bounce, and the bounce could take it up to the R1 like this, which could be again a turning spot, and then down it falls to that uh, 115 level. With regard to the pound dollar, uh, it is falling quickly since the, the open of the weekend and uh, could be because of the news reports about difficulties in UK with regard to the EU negotiations and also within the government of the UK, the conservative uh, government at this moment. So perhaps therefore uh, a quick fall right away at the open. And uh, I think that if it does close the bearish candle like this, that today, Monday, that there could be a bearish breakout continuation. We are, of course, don't forget, at strong support, two trend lines, uh, these bottoms in here. So that could be difficult to break. The price has been going sideways for a long time. And actually, I expected probably more in, in a kind of an expansion of this correction. But with such momentum now pushing it lower, this could also be a wave one and up it goes for a wave two and down it can go for a wave three. So now kind of 50-50 in my mind. I was leaning towards a bearish break last week, then trying to kind of change my mind with this uh, this bearish, this bullish break here. Thought that it could extend kind of the correction sideways for further. But with this momentum in the market, if it holds, if today's candle holds and closes near the low, it would be nice if it breaks, actually closes below the S1. Then tomorrow, small retracement continuation, I think, is the most likely uh, scenario. If it doesn't close near the low, closes halfway the candle, and there's a wick at the bottom here, then yes, more you know correction is, is likely. All right, that wraps it up for the moment. Take a look at AdmiralMarkets.com, not only for the webinars, but also for analytics for the MT4 plugin, basically, uh, that is uh, giving 60 extra features to MetaTrader 4 or 5. A lot of good things like the mini terminal you just saw, the weekly pivot point, and the Keltner. I didn't talk about that too much, but those are just a couple of examples. All right. Wish you all good trading and talk to you soon. Cheers.